So, not too long ago I made a couple videos based on the Resident Evil Resistance mode and I explained how the game has a lot of potential that can exceed fan expectations, as well as the problems it currently has. Or at least, the problems it initially had, as apparently it has gotten worse. Much, much worse. For starters, let's talk about the new mastermind we got, Nicholai. Yeah, I guess he goes by Nicholai now. Don't worry Capcom, I'll pronounce it like it's spelled so there's no confusion. <laughs> Sorry. So Nicholai is uh, completely broken for two reasons. He's like Spencer and he has Nemesis which is also completely overpowered. See, Spencer had become the most hated mastermind in the game because of the mass amounts of bullets coming from cameras and explosions coming from both landmines and cameras. Basically, you will rarely see any creatures in a match where Spencer is the mastermind. But that does not compare to Nicholai as the new mastermind. I really wish that cameras did not have augmented guns in them. They defeat the purpose of putting human test subjects in these experimental projects. I could have sworn that the reason why these masterminds are doing these experiments is because they want to test the progress of every new bioweapon they've created. So why the hell are survivors getting shot at with live ammunition, accompanied by landmines and more explosives? How brain dead is Spencer and Nicholai? I think the world knows that live ammunition and explosives can easily kill anyone. There's no need to test these survivors and see if their bodies can handle explosions and bullets penetrating them. Honestly, I think Capcom needs to either get rid of them completely or put them in a separate mode in the game so that we can actually have a little bit of fun as survivors. But now, let's look at the problems with Nicholai's Nemesis. Nicholai's Nemesis is nothing like Nemi from the RE3 remake, as this one does not go down with a simple grenade. You can chuck 10 grenades at him and he'll just shrug it off like nothing happened, followed up by punching you without the chances of escape. What do I mean by that? I mean that he literally stuns the survivors with a single punch, allowing him to continue throwing additional punches until the survivor goes down. At least when Mr. X did this, you actually had a chance to avoid additional hits since your character would not lock on in place after being hit once. But Nemi here? He gets the biggest perks when compared to the rest of the boss cards. If you run, he'll catch up to you. If you shoot him with rockets or any other strong weapons, It'll barely stun him for like half a second. He doesn't even need to chase you down. He has an unavoidable rocket launcher that one hit kills the survivors. He can also hit the ground and sprout a tentacle through the ground which is capable of hitting multiple survivors at once. And he can scream loud enough to stun all survivors nearby, allowing him to knock everyone down with a left-right combination. <laughs> Oh, and if you actually make it to the end and wait for the rest of the survivors or survivor to enter the exit in the third area, which is meant to be your final save zone, then the mastermind will always drop Nemesis in front of the exit and fire a rocket at all survivors waiting in that spot, which will instantly take them all down. I have yet to find out if Nemesis can actually use that ground tentacle move to hit survivors in the storage rooms where enemies cannot enter, but it wouldn't surprise me if he actually can. 
With the latest update, the developers have decided to allow every survivor and mastermind to have up to 20 points for it when it comes to adding skill cards. Originally, you had to rank each character individually so you can earn those points instead. But I'm guessing they did this so that maybe it can bring balance to the game. But uh, it's looking like it's actually made things worse. It's hard to make the game feel balanced when we still have countless bugs and glitches, only now they're just stacked on top of these new updates to the game. I understand that communication is key, so if survivors aren't communicating, then they'll most likely fall. But even if you do communicate with your teammates and you all have the best skill cards for your characters, it won't matter when the mastermind is this OP. Speaking of communication, this goes double for you, Capcom. You need to start listening to the fans because so far these updates aren't exactly improving the game. There are still plenty of bugs and glitches that occur throughout every match. Most skill cards can create an unstoppable mastermind when combined. Nitualize inclusion has made the game even more broken with that godly nemesis. And most importantly, you really should consider getting rid of those guns attached to each camera. I mean, what is this, Call of Duty? They do not make the game enjoyable. They do not make sense to these experiments. And they only annoy the living hell out of everyone that's trying to play this game. If you desperately want to keep them, then again, put them in a separate mode. I bet you that no survivor player will bother choosing that mode if it is an option, but at least this way Capcom will learn and see that no one wants them in the game. Except for those who want to play as the mastermind, of course. You wonder why they didn't include these gun cameras in the teaser trailer of the game? Well, it's pretty damn obvious now, isn't it? Every survivor would have immediately dropped after getting shot once or twice. And the mastermind wouldn't have even had to bother whipping out Mr. X at all. But hopefully, they do listen. Because I'm pretty tired of playing Resistance since it's becoming too repetitive, annoying, and it doesn't help when most matches have more bullets being fired by the mastermind rather than the survivors themselves. I'll make a separate video discussing some of the extra modes that Capcom should really consider including for this game. That's it for the video. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button to give this video a chance to grow. I'd like to thank all my Patreon supporters for their impeccable generosity. Your support means a lot to me and you are part of the reason why I try to make the best content that I can. And if you like this content, check out the rest of my channel. You'll find more entertainment from separate franchises I like to cover such as Mortal Kombat, Dragon Ball Z, Celebrity Deathmatch, Men in Black, The Mask, Batman Comics, The Terminator, TMNT, Dino Crisis, Resident Evil, and more. If you're a Patreon supporter, check out my exclusive videos such as the Gantz content. And if you'd like to show your support, go to my Patreon and support the channel, which is only a dollar. Sacrifice that McChicken for extra quality content, my friend. But anyways, I'll see you on the next video, and remember to have an awesome day.